Love to see Jesus, that's all I know. That's a Michigan joke, the rest of you will get it on the way home. Now, it was a great show, we had a wonderful time. And afterwards, there was a young man who was my age, he was 24 years old, he came up to me and he said, hey, I want to talk to you. I said, okay. And he said, uh, he said, you know, you talked in your program today about following Jesus and how, how easy it is to make the decision to follow Jesus. He said, but I don't think it's that easy. I said, well, why is that? And he started telling me his story. He said that when he was born, his mom couldn't take care of him, so she gave him up. And he said that eventually he ended up with his dad who took him to church for a little while, so he knew all the Sunday school stories. He said, but he pulled him out of church when he was eight years old because he wanted to start practicing witchcraft. He said he kind of had a rough childhood after that. He said the only reason he was at that show that day was because his dad had just passed away. He decided he wanted to reconnect with his mom, and when he reached out, strangely enough, she was the one that invited him to do a church function. So I'm standing there, I'm having a conversation with him. His mom's actually there listening. He said, you, you said you've seen God do incredible things. Miracles. You've seen people healed. You've seen people raised from the dead. But I've never seen anything like that. So how can I know that God is real? Before I can answer his question, his mom started talking. She said, because of me. He said, what do you mean? She said, you have no idea the person that I was, the things I was doing. She said, I was so far gone. But I met Jesus. She said, I'm a totally different person now than I used to be. And there's no way that could even be possible. Except for God. So I was standing there listening to this story and I was just, just amazed because it's a powerful story in itself. But isn't it funny how God works? Because what they did not know was that just a few weeks prior to that show we had finished writing what is now our latest album. Would you believe that one of the last songs we wrote, word for word, said, I know that God is real. Because His glory is revealed in the heart of everyone who just believes. He still saves and changes lives. There's no way to deny the difference that He made inside of You see, it's more than just emotion that I feel. God is real. We live in a world that always questions if there can be a God in heaven. Every day we hear the skeptics wonder how. Saying the Bible is outdated, that there's no way to explain it, and the evidence is nowhere to be found. But I see it every time I look around.
Facebook Messenger, and I didn't even know. I don't usually check my Facebook Messenger, but I, I got the notification and I clicked on it. I didn't recognize the name. And it said, actually, I'll read it to you because I've got it. I screenshotted it. This says, Hey guys, this is Nelly from Columbus, Ohio. Levi talked to my son Jonathan about accepting Christ as his Savior, and I wanted to let you know that today at church, he did exactly that. So listen, guys, don't be discouraged. Y'all keep sharing the gospel like we're all supposed to be doing, because everybody's got their mission field. Like I said, sometimes we won't even know the kind of difference we made this side of heaven. But I'm excited to see all the harvest that God brought in when we get to the other side. But we had a good time in the Red Gold Theater here this evening. Listen, I know we didn't get to be down at, uh, I, didn't, I know we all didn't get to go down to Echo Hollow tonight, but you know what? I think God knew exactly where we were supposed to be and who was supposed to be in this theater here this yeah. evening. And I am so thankful that we got to come in here today. And by the way, I, I usually, I, I like to do this when we're here because I want you guys to know how blessed you are here in Branson, Missouri. Because this is a this is a theme park. They are not obligated to bring Christian music into their park. But you, this, the management of this park, the staff at this park, have done an outstanding job bringing the gospel into this theme park. 
And I want you to let them know how much you appreciate it here tonight.